Okay, okay. We're good. Oh, there's the Sarko! There's another... What is... What is this place? Alrighty, guys and gals. Gunshy Mori here with another video on Arc Aberration, where today I've done something. I have added Evo Plus Native Aquatics to the server. So, that means I'm going out to tame a crypto. Now, if you guys haven't seen my taming guide video on that, I highly recommend you guys go watch that. Just because it... Yeah, I made it. But we've added them to the server. They finally got the update here where everything is finally spawning incorrectly. So we're going to go get one. Now, as well, there is another thing that I've been working on today. Um, well, technically over the weekend. I have been busting my butt here to make sure I get enough building supplies here. So that way when we move over to our base, down over in the blue zone... We can just set up the base quickly. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I watched one of Syntax videos, and this is how he did it. He made sure he had enough of the like the structures before he went and built, and I figured that's a good idea. Another thing that he did is that he's also test building in his single player, in which now that I'm on a server, that is what I'm doing over in my single player, so I'm testing out a build design for the base. So that way I can at least, you know, make it look good before, you know, building it here on the server. So yeah, but starting out for today, what I need is a crypto saddle. Now, I do believe I craft that in my inventory, right? Crypto Clytus saddle. So let's pull enough for one. Boom, we'll craft it up. Now, these guys are a passive tame as well. And the best thing that you could feed them is the, what is it? Calamari, which you get from the obelisk squid. Cri Sorry, I'm like... Mine's going numb, but as you can see here, if I get a piece of raw calamari on my server settings, it will only take a one feed at 150, which is awesome. And we are on four times. That is just because uh, the last couple times I did were on one times, and they went by pretty slowly. I might drop it down, but yeah, for today we're on four times. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. So to get that raw calamari, we need to find obelisk squids. Now, they should basically be everywhere. I need to set up my minimum correctly. And as you can see there, I can legit just, yeah. They're everywhere down here in the water. I'm just going to mark me one. We'll uh, go out this way. And do I want to take any tames with me? No. Oh, another thing. Um, I was finally able to get my roll rat back up here after it grew up. That took forever. And as well, while I was waiting for it to grow up, we got lucky while I was grabbing drops. And we actually got an Ascendant Roll Rat Saddle. Now, this thing is pretty decent. I'm going to hang on to it. I really wish I had a bit of a better Roll Rat to have it on. Not to diss this one, but yeah, I just wish it was a higher level one to begin with for that saddle. And as well, I did get some other nice stuff here from drops, as you guys may have noticed. I got me a pump, or not a pump shotgun, an Ascendant uh, Break Action. Then I also got me some saddles here, a Parasaur, I got me a Dodecarus, and mostly Ascendant Fur. Uh, but yeah, I also got an Anki uh, Blueprint, which that does not seem like that would be a bad one to build. Uh, durability though, yeah. But anyways, uh, I think I'm just going to take my Cosmo here. We're going to go swing on down to these Obelisk Squids, and uh, then we'll kill one, get some raw Calamari, and then we'll hopefully be able to find us a pretty decent... Uh, Cryptoclitus to tame. Okay, so we've made it down to the water. And all I have to do now is take out one of these Owl Squids. Now luckily, as well from the drops, I got this Ascendant Pike. It's an extremely good one as well. All I have to do is take that one out. Now as well, ooh, they do the ink attack of the, was it, what is it called? The Tuso? And they drop the same oil as the Tuso, if you guys didn't know. And it's just annoying sometimes. But I should only need that. By the way, these guys are now actually breedable. If you guys didn't know that, and you guys already had the mod installed, or watched my guide, uh, Depths did add that in. So you can actually breed your obelisk squids now, and you can make calamari farms. Which, you know, for a fact, I'm gonna do. So I just looked up Cryptoclitus. Um, it appears that they just spawn everywhere where water is. For a minute there, I thought they would only be down in the blue zone, but it does not appear to be that way. 
And uh, we got a level 95 here. I think I'm going to put back the restriction here of level 75 and up for creatures from now on. And, okay, first off, yes, you are marked. I might be able to tame up, too. All right, those are both male. I, th I saw the 120 down here, and I thought it might be worth it. Oh, and I also forgot. I can actually see their stats. That's not bad for the weight. Uh, oh, 140. This one's probably a better one to go for. Oh, we got the 145 out here. I'm just kind of marking them. And it looks like all the good ones are males. There's no females that are high level. This is the only female that I even see that's above level... Oh, I guess we got this level 90. Huh. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, just starting off with... Let's go over to uh, this one here. Oh, look at that. The 32 health and 32 tame... Yeah, no, we're 100% tame in that one. We're going to go over here into uh, Lost Lake and go tame that. Now, problem is, is that it is a bit of a journey. Okay, so I've made it over to Lost Lake. Our Cryptoclitus is right there. My bigger fear right now is what else is in that water? So, I need to be careful here. Oh, don't miss! I thought I was about to go splat. Need to get down here. It's starting to look a bit swampy around here, which I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's kind of like a swamp now. I feel like that's what they've kind of turned this area into. It's like a swamp biome for aberration. Because, like, look at this. This Tell me this doesn't scream swamp to you. Like, that's what it's screaming to me. I'm just waiting for the Sarko and Titanoboa to show up. Now, there's one little problem I'm going to have here. This thing's going to be incredibly fast. And I'm going to move incredibly slow in the water, as you can see here. Technically, though, all... Oh, no, it's going away. All I have to do is get close enough to feed it. Now, that's going to be... Like he, like I said, harder than it looks. Because he is down there. I need to get as close as I can while walking. Okay. Now we go. Can't wait for the Dinosuchus. Not Dinosuchus. What's the big crocodile? From the Arc Editions mod. That got added in. Hey, look, a piranha. Okay, okay. We're good. Oh, there's the Sarko. There's another... What is... What is this place? Let go of me. Oh, where's... Where's my guy? <laughs> Swim. Oh. Th this is... Bad. <laughs> oh, I really need a different... I need to, like, tame a Sarko before I went to go tame one of these guys. Damn. And look at how far those dragged me out. Oh, if it would just get close to me, that'd be epic. I think I hit it on accident. Because it looks like it's scared and running. Unless it's into a fight with something. I just need to get up on land to regain my stamina real quick. Okay, we're on land. Uh, if you guys want to see something here as well. I did change up my uh, stats on the server. So this is what everything is now. And as well, this is the pike I'm using. It is incredibly good. And I got that from a purple drop, which I was incredibly lucky. And I'm loving it, though. It's come in handy a lot because it saved my butt. Uh, same with this armor, although I do need to go repair it now. I feel like that crypto's fighting something because it's panicky. Should I build a boat? Do I got stuff to build a boat? No, I don't. So let's not. Okay, I just need to get close enough with oxygen and stamina to tame him. I feel like he's circling something. I feel like I should be good. We just got to approach. Oh my god. This is... This is terrifying. We're getting close. 
Oh, I can't see anything. I see the floor. No, no, don't go away. Crypto, hold still, please. I, I see him doing something. Is he in a fight with something? Yes, he's fighting Mantos. Oh no, no, no. I'm gonna die. We're gonna die here. This is not good. We're gonna die. We're gonna full die. Oh no, we're not. He's supposed to technically approach me like an ichthyosaur, so why am I... You know what? I'll just wait here at the top of the water, even though Sarkos and Piranhas are going to come and kill me. Okay. Gotta be a big boy. Okay, he's trying to eat their corpses. It looks like there's two of them. So I just technically have to get one. Bad. Let me harvest the fish. Maybe that will fix. Yes, yes, yes. We got it. We got it. We got it. Dude, come here. Come back here. I need you to help me. Because I am slow. You are quick. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at this. We got a crypto. Is this the aberrant variant? Yes, it is. It even says it is. Oh, they're supposed to be able to jump out of the water, but it's not for some reason. Let's get this thing up on land so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. They move incredibly fast in the water. Ooh, why is the... Okay. So, technically, this is the aberrant variant, but for some reason it looks like the normal variant. I don't know why. Huh. But, we got one. Now, I'm going to make sure he's fed. We give him just these food. I need to find a way now to get him back to base. Because we are... Something just ate a Sarko. Not a Sarko, a Spino. I'm trying to drink some water here. I don't have food. Um. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go find a way back home. Because I don't want to find out what just ate a Spino. These guys actually move pretty... Ooh, is that a... Explore note? The only reason I'm asking is because this is a 145. No, it was just a rock. Dang it. Okay, things just... Uh, went bad. Run, my dude. There are three Ravengers that just ran over towards you. Technically, if I hopped off, I could do more damage. I'm gonna have to. Dang it, what the heck did it just do to me? The, they launched me. Okay. Don't jump off. Just kill this thing, please. Okay, we need to find a charge station because things are going bad quick when this thing's out of water. Because it is incredibly vulnerable. So, I need to think. And I need to think quick. One of the things I need to do is not give it more uh, health. Movement speed is definitely something it probably doesn't need more of either. I need to find a charge station. We are kind of actually close to where we tamed... Our roll is that the charge station it is i think i can see the glow of the charge station okay so we're kind of close to where the roll rat is i think i know where a charge station is we're kind of close to where we tamed it so okay so surprisingly the crypto's availability is somewhat working on land um i've had like raptors run within like 20 feet of me and they've like not even noticed me so we're kind of in like camo mode as we're crawling across the ground but my goal right now is as i've just noticed i'm starting to head the wrong way 
Uh, I'm trying to get over to the water. By the looks of it, it's going to be a little bit difficult. We got to actually go down to where the raptors are hanging out now. Okay. Uh, you just keep on going here without pissing off these dire bears. Yep, see? That veiled. Like, if I was just normally walking by, those dire bears would have been mad at me. But we are almost to the river. Once we get to the river, we're basically just going to follow that back up until we hit a charge station. And this is essentially the same thing I did when I tamed the mole rat. It was I just followed this back until I hit the river and could find a charge station. And Giga Raptor is pissed at a raptor. Okay, I can see the river. So this crypto has gained a story it can tell everyone. But we need to find a charge station. Because this cri Oh, there's one. I'm just going to head straight for the charge station. I'm not going to worry about getting in the water. Okay, everything is falling apart quick around me. We need to hurry. What we're going to do is boom, 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 creatures, crypto, upload, accept, yes, you, get me out of here. <laughs> okay, now we should be good. We got our crypto uploaded to the system. We can head back to base. I'm probably going to leave him in that for now. Okay, so I've made it back to my house. I think, yeah, we're just going to leave the crypto in the uh, obelisk thing. The charge station is what they're called. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be calling it here for this episode. No, we didn't really do a whole lot, but we did get us a water tame. That was actually a very fun tame, not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed, though, that even though it says aberrant crypto, it's... Uh, well, maybe hold up. Maybe pulling it out of the charge station will fix that. Because when we tamed it, it looked like the regular crypto. All right. It did not look like the aberrant variant. I cannot access this charge station. Why can I not... Okay, I know why I cannot access this. This has been a little bug on my server. For some reason, every now and again, some storages I cannot access. Um, we'll try pulling out the crypto later and see if it fixed it. But if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode... Oh, damn, I look like I'm beat up. Uh, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell and share this video. That does help out the channel a whole lot. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Moray signing out. Peace, guys, gals.